Welcome to this video, which is a request question of Ikra Shah. Question number three, May June 2010, where part D is very tricky. Yes, it was a bit tricky. Anyway, let's start with the first part. The diagram shows a spinner with six numbered sections. Some of the sections are shaded. Each time the spinner is spun, it stops on one of the six sections. It is equally likely that it stops on any one of the sections and you can see there are four shaded ones and two unshaded ones and there are numbers on them part a the spinner is spun once find the probability that it stops on a shaded section so the first part we have to see how many shaded sections we have out of the total six sections so we have four shaded sections isn't it so it will be four shaded sections out of the total six sections. Let's see part two. A section numbered one. So how many sections do we have numbered one? We have one, two, three. So we have three sections out of the whole six sections. Okay. Part three. A shaded section numbered one. So a shaded section which is numbered one we have just two of them which are shaded and they are one okay because the other one is unshaded so we'll say there are just two out of the six okay let's see part four a shaded section or a section numbered one so first of all a sh shaded sections we have four and then they said or a number one so number one is here they are included already so this one I have to include so total chances I have there, there are five which I have to include out of the six okay so I will say five out of the six okay up till now it's pretty simple let's have a look at part B the spinner is now spun twice find the probability that the total of the two numbers is part 1 20 so the only way I can get a 20 is if I have a combination of first one is 10 and the other one is 10 so to get the first one 10 is 1 after the 6 and then the second one is 10 is again 1 out of the 6 okay so I will say 1 over 6 times 1 over 6 which will give me 1 over 36 okay now let's have a look at part 2 this was a little bit different because now we have to find uh, the sum which is 11 now there are not we would have said that if we get first one 10 and the second one 1 this will give us 11 this combination but there was one more combination if if it is the first one is 1 and then the second one is 10 so in fact we have two combinations instead of one combination this time okay so whatever the probability will get we will either multiply it by 2 to get the correct answer because it will it's repeated twice here okay so anyway if we get the 10 first it will be 10 is only once out of the 6 and then the second one is 1 how many times 1 we have we have 3 times yeah 1 is 3 times on the spinner so we'll say 3 out of the 6 okay this is my combination if it's the first one is 10 and the second one is 1 but another way is if my first one is 1 and the second one is 10 okay so I will add these two the other way I could have said is just multiply 2 with this one I will get the same answer anyway so the answer I will get is 6 over 36 okay so either you add them or just take the probability of the first one and multiply it by 2 so you will get 6 over 36 let's see now C1 the spinner stops on a shaded section find the probability that this section is numbered 2 now out of the shaded section we have to see how can we go to 2 now out of the shaded section how many shaded sections do we have we have 4 shaded section and out of the 4 how many two we have we have just one two so we have just one two 
So we will say we have just one, two out of the four shaded section, okay? For the part two, the spinner stops on a section numbered two. Find the probability that this section is shaded. Now this is the opposite. Now out of it, it already stopped at two. It's either this one or this one. But then they said find the probability that this one is um, this one is shaded. Okay, this one is shaded. So how many twos we have? We have two twos. So out of the two in the shaded we have just one two so it's just one in the shaded we have just one two out of the total two okay so that's the answer now let's go to part D the spinner is now spun until it stops on a section numbered two the probability that this happens on the end spin is 16 over 243 find the value of n now as unless you don't understand what they are asking for it will be a bit difficult for you to answer now what they are saying is that they will keep on spinning until they get a two and if they get it on the first or maybe they get the two on the second chance or whatever they got on some chance I don't know which one but the probability of that chance was 16 over 243 so all we can do is okay we'll see if we got Two on the first chance what will be the probability if on the second chance third fourth and fifth what will be the probability until we find that this is 16 over 2 4 3 and we will then say okay we got two on let's say on the seventh chance so this is the end so we'll say we got the this probability on the seventh chance so let's uh, I will just start with uh, the basic one and then will you will understand the pattern so if I get a two in my first uh, first chance first spin so it will be two over six because two is just twice out of the six so it's a uh, point zero point three three in other words it's thirty three percent chances but this sixteen over th uh, two hundred and forty three will give you zero point zero six five eight something which is uh, almost uh, six point five percent so this is a very high chance so it means he didn't get on the first one so what about the second one so the first one this means on the first spin we did not get two so we got the other rest the other four uh, any any number other than two so it's the other uh, of the two which is the other four numbers but in the second now we got the two okay so when you calculate you'll get it you'll get a 22 percent chances so we are getting near to the 6.5 percent and then for the third throw again it will be it means in the first one we didn't get in the second one we still didn't get in the third one we are checking that it, we might get the two in the our third spin so and you will get uh, you will get a uh, 14 percent here so you can just carry on and try and try an error which one but uh, as you can see this is uh, this 4 over 6 just keeps on repeating and of the if it is if it's my third spin it will be two times if it is my second spin it was just one time so I will say I don't know I will say 4 over 6 times 4 over 6 how many 4 over 6 I don't know so I will say 4 over 6 to the power of X it means 4 over 6 times 4 over 6 sometimes then the other one is 2 over 6 should be equal to 16 over 243 okay let me uh, rub the rest so I have more space to write okay so in other way uh, in even in exam if you would have just go keep on carrying on to the third and fourth you would have found the answer but it would have taken you a bit more time but still you will get the answer but this is a bit uh, more technical but quicker that one the other the, the one which I was doing before it was um, a bit lengthy but very simple so this one then I will say uh, I will, let me just write it here it will be 4 or 6 to the power of X so how many times 4 or 6 I have to multiply and I will say 16 now this 6 it will be multiplied with 16 and this 2 will be multiplied with 243 so I will get 96 over 486 
Now all I have to do is just use your calculator and put here one. Let if I get this one, put here two, put here three. Just quickly check, and you will eventually get that four over six to the power of four will give you this number, ninety six over four hundred and eighty six. So it means it's my fifth spin because in my fifth spin, my first four chances didn't give me the two over six didn't so it was four over six my fifth chance and so the fifth one give me the two over six which is exactly this number so it's n is equals to five this way okay so just use your calculator and try to get this number okay the other way you could have just carry on if uh, on your fifth chance you can have four over six times four over six times four over six times first turn uh, first spin second spin third spin fourth spin still it's not the two in my fifth spin i got the two and you will find exactly this number 16 over 243 so it's on my fifth spin so that's why my n is equals to five hope you understand the question thanks for watching